Okay, so here we are with towel three. You can see I have put two picks of my 8-4 cotton uh, in between the towels. And then I have put in uh, my hem allowance. Right here, I've put a double pick. That will be my fold line. And then I am ready to start my pattern. So this pattern is number uh, three, I believe, in the Strickler book, uh, chapter one, and it is called Whipcord. Um, I have not changed the uh, treadling sequence at all, and or the tie-up, uh, but I have changed the um, color sequence. So um, this is going to possibly be a patriotic towel. Uh, so we're going to do red, possibly white, and then blue. And we'll just keep doing that over and over until we get to the end of the towel. Um, so let's start in on the first pick. Um, this starts on treadle one, and it goes um, one, eight, and then two, one, three, two, four, three, five, four, six, five, seven, six, and eight, seven. And it repeats that sequence uh, to go have our whip cords do go one way. And actually I did change this a little bit because I believe that I have my whip cords um, zigzagging. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, and I'm not sure uh, how this is going to beat in. Um, so we'll just kind of go easy first. The last towel had long floats and um, I was able to, I had to be very careful of how hard I beat. This seems like it is tighter. Um, all right, so two, one. So I really like this. Um, you're able to see that this is the whip cord right here. And uh, I am not having to be really hard, but um, I can be hard enough that I don't feel like I am um, beating too hard. So we'll just continue on with this 
um, sequence and uh, I will change color after every um, two repeats I believe uh, and I'm not sure I'm going to do um, do white because I'm not sure you're going to be able to see the white on white. I have an off-white. I'll see how that works. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure that's going to work out. But we'll give it a try. Okay, so now I'm going to switch. Um, I'm going to switch to the white and or the off white and see how that looks. Um, and then I may unweave it. I'm not sure yet. Um, but we're going to um, cut this off. There's going to be a lot of uh, color changes in this one um, but I don't really want to carry the color up the side so it is what it is it'll be fine So I think that the, the cream on white looks okay. Um, we'll go ahead and continue on. Uh, the next color in the sequence is blue. So I will go ahead and lay that in. thinking that it might be very easy to carry the white up the side since it's not it's it's not this color white but it's pretty close and I don't think it'll show up so let's try that um, so now we're gonna switch to the red
Okay, so there we have our towels and they turned out pretty good. I like the weave structure and I like the color changes. There are a fair number of weaving errors that I found um, now that I look back at it, but it is what it is and I probably should have been using my treadle tracker a little more diligently than I was. Um, it seemed like I was able to remember the treadling sequence, but evidently I didn't remember it quite so well. But we will be moving on to towel four tomorrow. And I wanted to say thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel and uh, stay tuned tomorrow for towel number four. Thanks and happy weaving.